after this can begin, what's something that most people would find surprising about you? Um, something that people might not know about me is that I tend to think of myself as a one woman <laughs> Um, oh god. <laughs> I don't know, something that people might not know. I really like maple leaves. They're like everywhere around here. And that's one cool thing about Canada. There's maple leaves. What was your favorite TV show as a kid? Uh, that would probably be Spree and the Teenage Witch. Obsessed with Spree and the Teenage Witch. Um, with a tie of um, Sailor Moon. Really like Sailor Moon. That was my first foray into anime. Pretty much my last foray into anime. I don't know anything about anime. But uh, yeah, Sweet and Teen Witch, Sailor Moon, I mean like when I was really young, like I was a big fan of all the shows that you learn stuff from, like Arthur and the Magic School Bus and Bill Nye the Science Guy, yeah, those, my TVO kids, which you all don't know, but TVO is TV Ontario, <laughs> so that, that's, what, that's what I watched, yeah. <laughs> is there a celebrity or person that you have a crush on that you wouldn't openly admit to, and you know, bonus, who is it? Uh, yeah, this is pretty embarrassing, but uh, there's a news anchor on CBC, um, on the National, called Peter Mansbridge. He's like so old, but I love him. I don't know, I, I have a big crush on him. There's a big, big poster of him outside the CBC buildings, which I have frequented a few times to uh, go see tapings of the hour, which you all should watch. George Dombolopoulos is awesome. And, um, yeah, so that, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty embarrassing. That's Peter Mansbridge, by the way. I just thought you guys <laughs> should all know what he looks like, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever played Truth or Dare? If so, are you Truth or a Dare person? I'm more of a Truth person, uh, quite frankly, because I don't like doing dares. I'm a total chicken and coward, and usually dares aren't, they're not fun to do. I'm not good at that. So, plus, with you do Truth, Lie. And what toppings should not go on pizza, like ever? Fruit. Just, just no fruit. Or oh, we were talking about this before. It was fruit and fish. <laughs> that would just be like Together. the worst pizza ever. <laughs> so yeah, fruit and fish. <laughs> what, what one thing can you not live without? The internet. Like. Just the internet. I don't really remember my life before it. Well, I do, and I'm pretty sure it was boring. So, the internet, because it wouldn't have introduced me to all of you lovely people, so. Cats or dogs? Dogs. I just like dogs. I like perma puppies, you know, like the dogs that are just stay small forever and you can just cuddle with and I love, I love dogs. I wish I, I had a dog a very long time ago, but we had to bring him back because no one was home to take care of him. It was really sad. So, um, yeah, if, uh, if ever I have my own place and someone to, uh, yeah, that, that would be nice, a dog. Would you eat your most hated food for one million dollars? Yes, who wouldn't eat their most hated food for a million dollars? That's like so worth it. Like a million dollars for a bite of pizza with fruit and fish on it. I don't really have a most hated food, quite honestly. Um, I, I, I have food that I don't like, but I can't really think of a food that I upright hate. I don't know, I mean, I can probably tolerate most things except like super, super spicy food. like hot peppers where there's a funny story that my mom and I bought peppers and we thought they were just regular sweet peppers, the long ones, and uh, she took a big bite of it. It was like jalapeno pepper. Fun story. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I, w I would definitely do that. If you could be any Harry Potter character, who would you be and why? Luna Lovegood. Even though she's not really my favorite character in the book series, I gotta respect the girl. I mean, She's so independent, she knows what she wants, she doesn't really give a shit about anybody or anything. She's just, she's so cool, and I mean, like, that's really respectable and, like, commendable that she just doesn't really care what anybody else thinks, and that's definitely a quality I wish I possessed, so, uh, Luna Lovegood, yeah, good on Just a clarification on the Luna Lovegood question, um, when I say she doesn't care about anybody, I mean she doesn't care what anybody thinks. 
and I, I repeated that afterwards, but uh, yeah, she cares a lot about other uh, about people, and uh, she's very loyal, and she's a very good friend to Harry and the gang, and so I, I didn't want it coming off like, oh, oh, she doesn't really give a shit about anybody, she, she, she's just whatever, badass, she is totally badass, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to clarify that, like, I... I think it's commendable that she is a very caring person even though she gets kind of knocked around a lot and she just doesn't care and so that that's that's what the point I was trying to get across. And do you have any this one this one time at band camp stories to tell <laughs> and what is it? Um I never went to band camp. I did go to sleepover camp for uh, 5 years uh, from when I was I guess 8 to 13 and um or I guess that was 9 to 13, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so, um, I was kind of a boring camper. I wasn't one of the girls who was, uh, who was friends with a lot of the guys, some, unlike some of my, uh, bunk mates. But, uh, no, unfortunately, I don't really have any fun camp stories. Um, I did learn to swear a lot better there, though. I don't know. I think. So, my question, because I'm cool, <laughs> to uh, my bestie would be, in what genre would you like to write any type of story, novel, screenplay, etc., etc., and why? Um, so this is Marianne's question. Yay, Marianne's question. <laughs> um, the genre I'd love to write in? Comedy. I, I really like writing comedy. I wrote a few comedic uh, screenplays last year, and uh, I just think it's fun. I mean, I'm, I'm all for drama, but you know, I don't need to be making people more upset than they already are. I'd like to make people laugh. So that'd be really cool if I could uh, do something comedic. I have uh, a writing for television course next semester, so I'm hoping to uh, write something. I th apparently we also get to write like some kind of glorified fan fiction in that class, which is pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah. Why are you so awesome? <laughs> Why am I so awesome? It's because of you. <laughs> There's no, I am, I don't know, I'm not really all that awesome, but actually no, it's a lie. I'm, I am pretty awesome. I don't know why it is. Maybe it's, maybe it's genetics. My parents are pretty damn cool. Um, and maybe it's because I live in Canada, so <laughs> Canada's awesome, guys. Like, represent. This is, this is our campus where we are right now, by the way. Like, we're, we're at school because we had no, like, chance to do this anywhere else so common areas right now and it's really really warm and lovely so yeah I don't know why I'm awesome you guys make me awesome every I don't know